Good morning to all. This is Dr. Vai Sujata Reddy, Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department. Now we can discuss about construction of inscribed regular polygons. That means inscribed means all sides are in the circle. So now in this video we discuss inscribed circle polygons. How to draw the inscribed circle polygons. Draw a polygon inside a circle of given dia and number of sides. Here inscribe a regular polygon of any in a given circle of diameter. They are given in the problem circle of diameter. For example here we take the diameter is 50 mm. Okay. Now we draw the one circle with diameter of the 50 mm. Okay. 50 mm here. Our radius is 25 mm. That is the center point. That center point we draw the one horizontal line. That is A, B. We indicate the name A. First point A and second point is the B. Now we divide the that AB is the that horizontal line have diameter at the same time length also 50 mm diameter is there and we divide the equal parts we divide the equal parts to AB length A to B how much the distance is there or length of side is there so we divide the number of equal parts that means number means here we need to draw the pentagon that's why we divide the five equal parts in this way we divide the five equal parts that a b horizontal line okay that is the first line and second here that is the first okay in this way we join the line, line to horizontal 1.2345. So in this way we divide the A to B line equal distance. In case so now take the radius of A to B is the radius a to b is the radius or a to b is length we measure the with the help of the compass and we center point with b we draw the one arc with center a we cut the first arc so here now we join the line second division here that arc to where the intersect point that point to we join the line that is the m point here so now a to where cut the circle where cut the circle here to second division to where cut the circle that is the side distance a to that point okay that is the second distance so now you take the compass and measure the a to so you measure the A2 where the point intersect the second division to line to circle with the help of the compass you take the radius A2 that point second division where cut and same radius you take the with the help of the compass and same radius you cut the total circle number of equal parts ok here five you need to five equal parts so total circle now you divide the five equal parts now you join where where the cut the circle point to point okay with the help of the scale we join one arc to another arc in this way total five sides here now now you observe pentagon is ready okay in this way given circle diameter in this we draw the in this way 
we draw the pentagon given circle diameter we follow the steps we draw the pentagon okay now second method inscribing circle here we take the we draw the hexagon okay they are given the length of side so length of side is a 30 here we take first we draw the one horizontal line a to b that is the length of side they are given given in the problem a to b is the 30 mm now with the help of the compass we take the radius a to b how much is the radius means 30 mm is there okay so after a is the we measure the a to b radius then after you draw the one arc a is the center and you draw the you intersect the arc b is the center so that point is o okay a is the center you draw the one arc b is the center you draw the you intersect the first arc so wherever the arc to intersect the point that point is called as the o now you measure the o to a or o to b is the radius o to a or o to b is the radius now you draw the circle with the center o with center o and radius o to a or o to b you draw the one circle okay you draw the one circle then after this total circle here you know one side of length a to b that and a is the center you cut the remaining part of the total circle okay here a is the center also b is the center you take you cut the arc b is the center or you follow a is also center you draw the arc but radius is the length of distance you measure then after you cut the total circle arcs in this way and then after with the help of the scale you join the lines a a to b already is there and b to c c to d d to e okay how many sides here means you need to draw the hexagon that's why six sides okay join with the help of the scale in this way you join the circle you join here this is the hexagon this method is called as horizontal hexagon okay this is the horizontal hexagon a to b is the 30 mm distance you draw the horizontal that's why it is called as horizontal hexagon this is the horizontal hexagon because here we we take the length of side a to b is 30 mm we draw the horizontal line that's why this figure is called as the horizontal in inscribing circle method otherwise you need to draw the vertical in this way same but a to b distance is you measure the vertical line so automatically same processing steps you follow it is called as the vertical hexagon in inscribing regular vertical hexagon okay now how to draw a regular hexagon inscribe in a circle a meter so here in this way first we draw the circle diameter is 50 mm radius is 25 mm we draw the one circle this is the circle how to draw first that is the center point that center we draw the vertical only hexagon in this method this is the hexagon vertical line that is the o center point is the o 
in this way O to A we measure the radius O to A we measure the radius and A is the center we draw we cut the ox and B is the center we cut the ox okay here O A is the distance with the help of the compass and A is the center we draw both sides at the same time B is the center we draw, we cut the circle both sides now with the help of the scale you join the point arc to arc that is the one side sides are visible simple and easy method of inscribing a circle for hexagon inscribing circle method regular hexagon okay this is the vertical inscribing a circle for hexagon is this method is vertical for one side of the hexagon to be vertical starting the starting point of the stepping of equal divisions should be on an end of the vertical diameter so this hexagon is called as a vertical hexagon so same process same process horizontal also but in me uh, that means here you observe vertical you need to draw the vertical hexagon means here vertical draw the center point center line vertically you draw the a to b now same radius you draw the one circle that is the radius point but now we, you need to draw the horizontal that's why you draw the line horizontal that is the difference here vertical and horizontal a to b same here also a to o is the radius o to a is the radius so in this way you draw the horizontal line and a b o that is center point is o you measure the radius or side length of the side o to a you cut the circle a is the center and b is the center total circle in this way you cut okay and identify the points with the help of the scale you join the that lines arc to arc given the diameter of the circle this is the easiest method for draw the hexagon horizontal vertical okay what is the main difference means here vertical means you draw the center line vertical a to b and the horizontal means you draw the center point horizontal so automatically it comes the horizontal and vertical circles horizontal and vertical hexagons regular inscribe inscribe so in this video you learn how to draw the inscribe polygons okay pentagon and a hexagon horizontal vertical okay thank you